how to pick out paint colors without losing your mind. This one or this one? No, they are not the same. This is wedding cake and this is bubble bath. As much as it's tempting to go with the best title, wedding cake it is. Sounds delicious. Here are the real considerations when choosing your colors. First, what are you putting inside the room you're painting? Chances are you already have furniture and decor or at least know what you like, so make sure that paint complements it. A brown couch up against a brown wall is so 2000 never. Next, you're gonna copy, I mean look for inspiration online. No need to reinvent the wheel. Look to interior designers whose style you admire and see what color combinations they've chosen. Then you want to ask yourself the million dollar question, what do I want to feel? Light colors can help you feel cheery, cool colors can help you feel calm, bright colors can help you feel vibrant, and moody colors can help you feel multiple things in one day mostly cozy. Next, you'll want to pay attention to undertones, and I'm not talking about sounds. Opalescence, opalescence, opalescence. Talking about the subtle colors behind the main color. As a starting point, most colors run either warm or cool. Which do you prefer? Also, there's often a slight tint of another color. This is what makes picking out the perfect white so difficult. Ugh. White can have an undertone of pink, blue, or yellow, for example, and it can become extremely noticeable once it's too late. That's why my next tip is to buy a pint and paint a sample on your wall. This will help you from needing to repaint or living with a color that makes you sound like Darth Vader every time you pass it. Lighting makes a huge difference in how a color appears. The sound can turn a light blue into a white at sunrise and back into a light blue at sunset. It's like the original magician. So bottom line, you always want to see the paint in the room you're painting at different times of day. Next, you're going to want to make sure the paint throughout your home is cohesive. Now, if you want to paint your house like a box of crayons or Lucky Charms, go for it. You artistic leprechaun you. But if you have resale or Instagram likes in mind, remember, less is more. Not only do you want to avoid using too many colors, you also also want to make sure the colors look good from room to room to create a sense of flow. Light colors can also make a room look bigger, whereas dark colors can be fun for an accent wall or to make a room feel nice and cozy. Lastly, choose quality paint. Trust me, not all paint is created equal. It's kind of like tequila. The cheap stuff looks good on the shelf until you've used it and sound like Darth Vader the next day. I'm in the middle of my duplex remodel and went with Valspar from Fleet Farm. I applied one of their colors of the year, gray green linen, to my living and dining room. Valspar is known for its quality colors, durability, and easy application. Oh, and you can find it at Fleet Farm and use your rewards program to earn points, which I highly recommend putting toward the snack aisle.